Hello my fellow fasting friend, it's Jackie. As you guys know, I really get a lot of joy from food, whether it's the preparation, the planning, or especially the eating. So 500 calorie down days can be a challenge to me because I still wanna get that joy of eating, but I wanna take advantage of a down day. So one way that I do it is I try to be creative and come up with lots of different meals that I thoroughly enjoy with 500 calories. So it makes getting through the down day easier and I get the joy of an update following it, but I also really get to experience food that I still like. If you are new around here, my name is Jackie. I have been intermittent fasting for just over nine months now. I started in June of 2020 and I have seen lots of great results. I have lost over 30 pounds. I am getting pretty close to my goal weight. I'm five foot 10 and I currently weigh about 150 pounds. Between three pregnancies and breastfeeding for over five years, I have spent a lot of my life gaining and losing weight. Intermittent fasting has become a tool in my life where I can really explore food, enjoy food every single day, but also lose weight and feel healthy in my own skin. And I absolutely love this journey, which is why I actually changed my whole YouTube channel to be about intermittent fasting and food. So that's what I'm gonna share with you guys today. Foods that I love to eat on my down days, only 500 calories, let's go. So this first meal is not gonna be one that you're gonna brag about as being healthy. My son already ate half of this. Um, but they're full. I realize that it's only 410 calories for the entire thing. So that would be pretty filling to eat on its own. So when you have the 410 calories, this would be a good meal. Say your family is eating something that you actually really do like, which makes down days harder. This would be more of a fast food game day type down day. So this is something I would grab maybe if my family is eating pizza. I'd have this. And this is where the magic happens, people. I would eat the entire thing, not a half one. I only have a half though. But I, I can walk to my local Meyer and get these. It's about a two and a half mile round trip. We like walking there. That's actually when my son gets these is if he walks to the store with me, um, he gets a treat on the way back. And it's usually popcorn chicken. So you have 410 calories right off the bat with the chicken. That's a large portion. So you have to get creative with the rest. That's where sauces become magic. So. Mustard is zero calories, sriracha is zero calories, and this is my new favorite. I absolutely love this, and you'll probably be seeing this in multiple 500 calorie meals in the future. The Trader Joe's Green Dragon Hot Sauce. It's mainly jalapenos, vinegar, spices. It's super delicious, and it's zero calories. So, unless you're eating the whole bottle, I still would count it as zero calories with your chicken. So you get this part down. I probably would be using sriracha and green dragon sauce because I love spicy foods, so yummy. Then you also are gonna have a zero calorie drink that I normally wouldn't have in my fasting window. So I love sparkling waters like this Limoncello LaCroix. I often buy the Aldi version Bellevue flavored waters. That's normally what I have in my eating window, but if we're doing more of a snacky meal, I might have a diet cola. Again, like if this is a game day, down day, or movie night with my family and I chose to have a down day, probably not the day I would normally choose a down day, but sometimes things happen where I want an up day the next day. I might be wanting something a little more snacky, so I'd probably have a diet cola in there. So again, zero calorie additions, zero calorie additions, and then my personal preference when I have a base that has a lot of calories that's not fruit or vegetables is I like to add in usually an apple because an apple's filling. Um, an average apple is about 95 calories. Obviously apples range in size, so I try to get a medium one and I don't fret. If this adds up to 105 plus 410 and it's 515, I'm not gonna like throw one of the popcorn chickens away. I probably would have nine months ago, but I realized that 15 calories difference still puts me in a very low calorie single meal, and my body's not gonna like reject it as a down day with that 15 calorie variance. I don't, I really don't try to go over, but I'm not gonna like leave a bite off of this to save a couple calories. Part of the reason I love apples is it makes it very easy to grab and go and eat, and there's low prep. Other options would be Bananas are about 100 or 110 calories, so you could have a banana as a single option. Uh, half a cup of pineapple is 56 calories, according to Alexa. Each mini bell pepper is about eight calories, so you could have half a cup of pineapple with some bell peppers. An entire cucumber is only 45 calories, so again, you could have half a cup of pineapple and half of a cucumber and get 100 calories with fruits and vegetables. That actually sounds like a really good option with the chicken to me. Um, mandarin oranges, 
you could eat an entire cup of mandarin oranges for 100 calories so i'm guessing it's about 25 calories for a little mandarin orange you'd probably have to look that up but what i'm saying is if you have fruits and vegetables on hand which i always have on hand for my kids for myself it's really a great way to make it. So I shared the apple, the banana, pineapple. The way I would put together a perfect meal would probably be half of a cucumber at 20 some calories and 56 calories worth of pineapple, half a cup. Eat my entire carton, so not a half of one, but an entire thing of popcorn chicken, my zero calorie sauces and a zero calorie drink and that would be mwah, the perfect meal. I'm not saying that getting deli popcorn chicken is the healthiest thing, but if, if there are times you want to do a down day and you need something that feels indulgent or still um, appetizer-y type meals, because there are times where you want to participate and feel like you're part of something. Okay, so here's another 500 calorie meal idea. I have this red pepper and tomato soup. My daughter had some of it, and there's three cups left, so three cups would be 360 calories in this bowl. You can see it's a really nice size portion. I also purchased a tomato version that's actually only 110 calories, so you could get a little more excess calories only eating three cups of this. You could also just eat the entire carton and still be under 500 calories, but I wanted to have some additions to my meal. So my soup itself, you can see there's a lot of it, 360 calories. These I get at Aldi. You can get them at a lot of grocery stores. You can even get a spicy version. It's 15 calories for the entire pack or just regular pickles right from a jar are low calorie. I love them. I have 70 calories in a hard boiled egg. I'm not gonna put anything on it except for some ground pepper. I don't keep these around all the time, but we just had Easter and we had them and it sounded like a good addition. Most of the time if I have an egg as a 500 calorie down day, I like to just uh, pan fry it over hard. So here is my 500 calorie meal. Half cup pineapple, a hard boiled egg, some pickles, and three cups of red pepper and tomato soup. I will be very satisfied with this and we'll have an update afterwards. Now I'm gonna share with you one more meal and this one ranks in my favorites because it's so good. Okay, this is the one I've been really excited to share with you guys. I am making like a Mexican bowl. I have a quarter cup of black beans, 45 calories. These are from Aldi. I have a half cup of chopped pineapple. This is 56 calories for a half cup of fresh pineapple. I'm using half this bag of rice. It's a cup and a half before it's cooked and that's only 40 calories for a rice cauliflower. I'm going to steam three beef tamales. I got these at a local store called Fresh Time. I've had the black bean ones before and they're super good. You steam them. I'm having beef today because they were actually out of black bean and two of them are 210 calories. So that means three are 315. And then all of these additions are very low calorie. So a cup of cilantro is like three calories. I'm not even using a cup. So I'm just counting that as a couple calories, four calories, each of these mini peppers. I have two of them. So that's eight calories. The jalapeno is four calories. I chopped an entire one of those. Oh, a rogue black bean. And then lime juice for a tablespoon is like four calories. I'm gonna use three tablespoons of this chunky salsa from Aldi. That will be about 23 calories because two is 15 calories. And then these are all zero calorie additions. So I have sriracha, the Trader Joe's green dragon sauce. You guys, I've mentioned that in a previous one. Zero calories and this is new also hot um, chili habanero and I don't know how much I'll add of that I'll just drizzle them on at the end if I feel like it needs a little more flavor zero calories for the limoncello LaCroix and this will be like 498 calories I'll add it all up and put it on the screen you guys will see but it's a 500 calorie bowl let's get it together I am bringing water to boil and these will steam I'm gonna steam them for 20 minutes Look how big this is, and this is not including 315 calories. That's so I'm gonna big. mix it all up. That's big, Mom. Think that's pretty big?
So I am now enjoying this lunch. It's super good. I love the spice, the heat. There's so many flavors of the pineapple, the beans, the salsas. If you're interested in more 500 calorie down day ideas, I like to be creative and try to add a lot of food for the 500 calories. You can check out this video here. I've shared two other videos. One is just a single meal and the other one I think has like nine or 10 different options. So check those out and good luck in your fasting journey. I'd love to know about it. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao down and ciao.